Hello, I'm Allie Cobb, Director of Children's Youth and Family Ministries at St. John's United Methodist Church, and I have a special helper here with me today whose name is? Emery. Emery. And we are going to do our craft for this week. Um, and this week it was the Bratz family's turn to pick a number between 1 and 500, and they picked number 13, which was Adam and Eve, and we are using our Deep Blue Story Bible um, from Cokesbury, and we learned all about Adam and Eve and how God created Adam to help take care of the Garden of Eden. And Adam was kind of lonely, so then he made Eve to be his partner and to help him. And together they took care of the Garden of Eden until one day when Eve was tempted and she made a bad choice and she was a little selfish and she ate from a tree that she shouldn't have. Um, she was tempted. And because of that, that's why we have sin and everything. But then we also kind of learned how God sent his son Jesus to forgive us of our sins and everything. So the Old Testament, we kind of learned how God could be a little mean sometimes, a little harsh. But in the New Testament, we learned that all is forgiven. But today we're going to learn about um, um, Adam and Eve. And we're not quite for sure if it was a snake that tempted Eve to eat an apple or what. But we're just going to kind of go off that today. So I have two crafts for us to do. I have a fruit craft and a snake craft. So, Emery, do you want to do a snake craft first or the apple craft first? The apple. The apple craft. Okay. So, for our apple craft today, I have an apple that I have cut into two. Mm -hmm. And I have some green paint and some orange paint. I want, I want this kind. You want that side? Okay, yeah. hold on. Okay, and so then I also have um, a cutout or a print off um, of just um, a tree that I had Emery help color in and everything. And you guys might, Emery, stop these. So you guys might be doing these crafts um, sometimes in the fall where you, it's almost like a stamp and you use um, different colored paints and you'll just kind of use it as a stamp and you'll put it on your piece of paper. So I have some red and some green paint um, today that we're going to use. So do you want to do red or green first? Which one do you want to do first, red or green? Pink. We don't have pink. We have red and we have green. I, okay, I pink. Okay, good. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you get it all around in there. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> we're not going to eat it. Nope, we're not going to eat it. Okay, so can you stamp it on your piece of paper for me? You're doing it more up here so it's near the branches. Oh, good job. That's okay. That's okay. Here, can you do some more? Very nice. Is it okay if I do the green one? Or do you want to do the green one too? You want to do the green one? Why refill up your red? There you go. Do some green. How about right there and right there? Very nice. Okay, do you want to show everybody your stamp craft? Can I, can I keep it? Can Absolutely. So that's what your apple craft will look like. Here, it's okay. Here, we will get, we will get a wet wipe. One second. Yeah. Oh. I should. I should. I should know by how to always keep wet wipes handy whenever we're doing crafts. So my next craft that I'm doing this week, it didn't go quite according to plan, but that's okay. So um, for this, it works out best if you have. Um, you need some dried pasta, but it works best if you have rigatoni because it's um, a bigger hole. Um, I only had penne, which I thought would work, um, but it didn't work out quite how I wanted it to, but we're still gonna make our craft with it. We're just gonna improvise. So what you're gonna do is we are going to um, dye our, our um, pasta. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a few dried noodles into a bag. Put a few dried noodles into the bag for me. Can I take Perfect. Some No, you're not gonna take dried noodles into your room. So you're gonna put them into a little baggie like this. And like I said, it works out better if you have um, rigatoni because it's a wider um, noodle and everything. Um, I thought the penne would work. It didn't work out how I wanted it to, but that's okay. So you're gonna do that. And then um, I have some rubbing alcohol. And so you're just gonna put about a teaspoon, and I just eyeball it, but you'll put about a teaspoon worth of rubbing alcohol in the baggie. And then you're going to need some food coloring. And Emery, what color do you wanna pick? Pink. I don't have pink, how about red? I, I can tell you really want pink. Is that your favorite color? Yeah, that's really my favorite color. <laughs> okay, so then you're going to put a couple drops of the food coloring in the baggie, and you're going to zip it back up. And then you're just going to let it sit in this for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you're going to take it out. That's why my hands are a little um, color, have some color on them and everything. 
but um, you'll leave them in there for about 10 minutes. You'll take them out and then you're going to put them on a paper towel. And I've already done this with a couple others, but this is what they will look like um, when they're done. And then you'll just let them dry out um, for about an hour. Now what I had hoped to do with um, our noodles today was um, to string them um, on like a piece of yarn and everything. So then you'd kind of have like your own wiggly snake. But since I have the penne, it's too small for my string to go through. So bust on that, but we're gonna improvise. But if you have a wider noodle, use that because it would work out perfectly for it. Um, so what I did to improvise is I just took a piece of paper and I made my little snake head and then I did a little, um, little squiggle line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Elmer's glue. And I want to put this in my room too. You wanna put this in your room too? You want a snake in your room? Yeah. Are you sure you want a snake in your room? That'd be silly. I like snakes. You like snakes? You do like snakes. Yeah, I like wiggly snakes. As they're not too close to me, I don't like them. You like wiggly snakes as long as they're not too close to you? Yeah. Okay, okay so I made um, four colors. So I made kind of like um, a teal, and I made a purple, and I have this kind of like yellowish orangish, um, and I have a green. Um, like I said, I let them dry out for an hour, so you a little bit of prep work, but now you can just start. What color do you want first to stick on the glue? Okay. You want a purple one? Yeah. And you can do as many colors as you want. I just did these four today, but like I said, they'll need about an hour to dry out, so a little bit of prep work um, ahead of time, but not too bad. Then just to use our snake for today. But like we said, we're not quite for sure if it was a snake or not. We're just kind of guessing um, what the animal might have been, but we'll well, just use Mama, snake. I think it's a snake because of its long tongue. Well, yes, this is a snake that we're making, but we're not quite for sure what animal was in the Garden of Eden that tempted Eve. Um, Last one. Well, it looks like it's a snake because, because of okay. its long tongue. And then this is what ours looks like. And now we'll just need to let the glue dry. And then we have our own snake. So I hope you enjoyed your Garden of Eve's crafts with us this week. We had a lot of fun. Thank you to the Brat family for picking page number 13 for us. And we look forward to seeing you guys back here next week. Have a great rest of your week. And remember, everything you need to do this week is in, the, it was, is in God's love. Because God loves it when we're kind to others and we help out um, the animals and the earth and we're kind to each other. So remember, listen to your parents and be kind to one another. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye.